Hello everybody, this is Rob here, and I hope everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day today. Uh, before I begin, I just wanted to let you know, uh, for anybody watching this video that did uh, not arrive here uh, by means of my uh, Locked Out of Windows 10 video, uh, this video was not actually meant to be a standalone video, although I guess it could serve as one. Uh, what this is really is a response to a very popular question that I get on my Locked Out of Windows 10 video, which is, uh, how am I supposed to complete the steps of this tutorial if I don't have my Windows 10 installation media? Which is a great question. So uh, instead of trying to respond uh, individually to everyone uh, and point them in the right direction, I thought that I could just help everybody out all at once by creating this tutorial. And then the other thing I've done is I've uh, posted download links on my website to everything that you'll need to get this accomplished. And I will leave a link in the description below. The only thing that you need is a USB flash drive that's at least 8 gigabytes in size. Anything smaller uh, will not work, so it has to be at least 8 gigabytes. Uh, if you have that, then you should be all set. Uh, after you get done watching this tutorial, you should be good to go as far as uh, creating your own Windows 10 uh, bootable installation media. So the first step is to grab your 8 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive and then go ahead and stick it into any available USB port on your computer. Uh, you don't have to worry about it being formatted uh, properly or anything like that uh, because the utility I'm going to show you how to use will take care of all of that automatically. Next, you want to navigate to the download section on my page by following the link in the description of this video. Uh, in this tutorial, I've already downloaded the Windows 10 uh, ISO image to save some time, uh, and it is in a uh, compressed format. So uh, once you download it, you'll need to unzip it before you try to plug it into the um, utility that I'm going to show you how to use. Uh, so download that, and then also download the uh, file titled uh, Rufus uh, 2.18. Once you have both of these files, go ahead and navigate to where they downloaded to. And uh, even though I don't show it in this tutorial, uh, like I already said, I've already unzipped the uh, Windows 10 ISO image. Uh, so it's going to be in a zip folder. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is right click that and then click extract all. I extract that ISO image. And then once that's done extracting, uh, go ahead and double click Rufus to open it up. Once Rufus opens, uh, everything is uh, pretty much set the way it needs to be by default. Uh, the only thing would be is if you have like multiple storage devices connected to your computer, uh, the device may not be correct at first. Uh, in my case, it is because I only have one USB flash drive plugged in. Um, uh, if, it, if it's a different scenario for you, just go ahead and click the drop down menu under device and select the appropriate uh, drive letter uh, for your USB flash drive. And then uh, leave partition scheme and target system type uh, as is. Uh, it's already set for BIOS or UFI. And then the file system is fine being FAT32. And then the next step is to uh, select that icon uh, next to, to the right of FreeDOS. And we're going to select our Windows 10 uh, ISO image. Now click the button that says start and then a warning is going to pop up and basically just let you know that um, all data on the device will be destroyed. Uh, so that's why I told you earlier, don't worry about the flash drive being formatted or anything like that. Uh, Rufus is pretty much going to do that for you. Um, go ahead and click OK and then it's going to begin its process. 
So I have uh, sped this part up significantly, uh, unless you wanted to sit here for uh, half an hour and watch a progress bar, um, which I, I didn't think would be the case. Um, anyways, uh, this could take uh, a significant amount of time, and uh, when it's done, uh, just click close, and it should be complete. And then just really quick to uh, verify, um, if you want, you can just navigate to your file explorer and then to the um, drive letter for the USB flash drive and then just ensure that um, the Windows installation files are there. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and test it out. So uh, I'm using a Dell laptop, so um, for me, to bring up my boot menu to boot from a different device, uh, the key is F12 uh, right before the computer starts up. Um, it may be different for you. I know if you're using a Dell, it should be F12. Um, this might be something that you have to figure out. Sometimes there's a little um, uh, like uh, description in the bottom or one of the corners that says, you know, F F2 for BIOS, F12 for boot menu, something like that. Um, and then some computers are configured automatically to boot off of a different device. So, um, but anyways, once you're able to bring up that boot menu, uh, if your computer just doesn't boot off of it automatically, um, just select the USB flash drive from the uh, menu that appears. And then if all went uh, according to plan, uh, you should boot up into the Windows 10 setup. And that completes this tutorial. So if this video was a help, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, if you get a free moment, please check out our website. It is www.rmtechcentral.com. Again, my name is Rob. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.